Okay, I'm talking to Jim from Plant Development Services, and what stopped me in my tracks was these blight-resistant boxwood, and he's going to tell you a little bit about them. Okay, yeah, like you said, my name is Jim Putnam. I have a YouTube channel called Pork Tube, and then I uh, do some video content with Plant Development Services, who, this is one of our new brands, is Better Boxwood. Uh, Better Boxwood is the first scientifically proven blight-resistant boxwood. And so these were developed in Europe. Europe had boxwood blight before we did, so they're a little ahead of us on uh, on recovering from it and, and, and new genetics. And so there's gonna be four boxwoods to start in the program. They're various sizes to replace all the types of existing boxwoods we had, maybe a screening size down to a small little round boxwood ball like you would expect to have. But we're super excited about them. Uh, Currently, there are nurseries being licensed, and everybody's building numbers. And you know, we'll see these at retail very soon. We expect it to be a big, a big, big introduction to have an actual scientifically resistant, proven scientifically resistant light box, light resistant boxwood. Easy for me to say. So there's four varieties. There's four varieties. And what makes them each one different is the size. Yes. So you'll see heritage here. Uh, it's going to get like three to four feet with a slightly narrower, a slightly narrower habit. Mm -hmm. uh, and then uh, Babylon here is pretty much your typical round ball boxwood. It's a more of a dome, a little wider, uh, mm -hmm. a little wider than tall. And then Skylight has the perfect name because it's the one that's going to get six, eight feet tall if you let okay. it. Upright, narrow habit. And then um, Renaissance is more what I think a lot of people would think about if they were going to build a knock garden or something like that and have perfect little round balls, okay. boxwood balls. So there's one that fits any application. Every need in the garden. Right, exactly. That's why these four were selected. And are these available in retail yet? No, but I think by fall, some lucky customers are going to find them on tables in 2023. Mm -hmm. And in the spring of 24, lots more lucky customers are going to find them. And probably okay. fall of 24, everyone will be finding them. Okay. Yeah. It takes a, boxwoods are a little slower than other things, yeah. uh, but worth the wait, obviously. All right. Thank you, Jim. Yeah, no problem.